So once upon a time. 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 There was this rad party on a Friday night. There's this little girl. It's always a little girl. Her mom is like, here, take this basket, go into the woods. Why would you set a girl in the woods alone? Be a good parent, first and foremost. Like, don't send your kid out into the forest. Don't stray off the path, that one's important. She's walking through the woods, like you do. And she's not this little, like, girl in the woods. She's this, like, pretty young thing. And she always has something that isn't really gonna get her through the night. Oh my god, are those chips? I'm gonna get some chips. Yeah, get that one, get that one, get that one. Where was I? So she goes into the woods and she is just doing her own thing. She's just smelling flowers and walking around on the path. Guess who she meets along the way? That's right, a wolf. Chip drop. There's always a wolf. And there's always a wolf. You can't tell that this wolf is a wolf. I don't understand why the wolf has to be so big and bad. He's like the original con man. You know, in some versions of the story, she wants to meet the wolf. Why would be hanging out with the wolf be so bad? But the story is not about him. It's not about him. It's never, it should never be about him. What happens at the end? When little girl gets home to granny, you know, she's got her little red cape. That didn't do her much good. Did I mention she's wearing a cape? Like who wears capes anymore? The wolf eats the grandmother. Like why ever would anyone just like want to have no arms or sleeves? And then the wolf eats her and that's the end. The wolf gets Lil Red. Like the sad part about it is, well like the end of the story is, she leaves this party like feeling different about herself. We're told that every man could be a wolf or he could not be. When you really read the history, she has to save herself. Don't trust that like curious thing that wants you to go off the path or like share the food in your basket. Because then all of a sudden, it's the little girl's fault for walking off the path, for being led to believe that this wolf, you know, could just be harmless. So in that version of the story, Little Red actually has autonomy. She like gets herself or ends up somehow in a shitty situation and then she gets herself out of it. Because you know what? No one can mess with her. She knew how to get out in the first place. Maybe the story isn't written always that way, but she knew. And it's all because of what somebody did at a stupid party. That is how Red Riding Hood ends. That's the moral of the story. That's what it's all about. And that's the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Anything else? <laughs>